Yes, hi, hello, welcome. We all know the classic websites where you can play cooking games, dress up games, and all sorts of odd things. All of which were powered by Flash. If you somehow don't know what Flash is, it's basically an old program used to make animations or games. Thousands of games all over the world wide web were powered by this. But sadly, Adobe will be pulling support from it in December. <sighs> Add that to the list. So I thought we would review some games on some of my favourite web browsers from when I was probably eight. Let's start with a good old classic, Friv. I remember playing these sort of clicker games where you would solve different problems to get to a sort of reward. My favourite being The Milk Quest. It was a game simple enough for my five year old brain to understand and you basically just click all over the screen to find everything. The other game on Friv I loved playing was Haunt the House. You would scare people out of your house trying to get them to leave you alone. I used to play this game over and over for hours, trying to get an amazing score. I was never really successful. Friv has some of my favourite one-off games I play every once in a while. You can't look me in the eye and tell me you have never played cool maths games. May it be during free time in class to playing it at home. The first game I played here is probably a little more obscure, but it had loads of levels and it was loads of fun. This game is known as Jelly Escape. Jelly Escape has an absolutely beautiful story. It's one of those games I would play for a really long time if I could. It's a platformer, one of my favorite types of games, and I found myself thinking just one more level. The other cool maths games game I enjoyed is more of a series of tons of games. We all know them, we all have a random favorite, it's the Papa's Games! You know the ones. Papa's Pizzeria, Papa's Freezeria, even a Pancakeria. I usually played the Cupcake or Donutteria, but I thought I would play a different one. Papa's Scooperia. Can I just say, the Scooperia ice cream looks delicious. Like, I would love to order an ice cream on a cookie. I think I would be better at ordering rather than making, as you can see. But Cool Maths Games has some really awesome multi-level games that you can just keep coming back to. Finally, let's talk about Kizzy. If I'm remembering correctly, my older brother introduced this website to me. But one of my favourite games to play on it was my Dolphin Show. As you can see, it has the best graphics ever and very realistic dolphin movements. I played this game loads, trying to get the best dolphin skin. That was all that motivated me. I wanted the most colourful dolphin. The other game I played was super adorable and I loved it so much. Sushi Catapult. Hey, Editor Bethany here. I just wanted to let you know, I got the name wrong. It isn't called Sushi Catapult, it's just called Sushi Cat. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. It's a pun! Sushi cat a -pult? It's basically a pinball game. Minus the triggers, unless you get the power up, and you drop the cat where you want it to go. Okay, maybe they aren't so similar. That's the closest I could come up with. I won't lie, this game is actually really addicting. I recorded one level and then proceeded to play like 10 more. The animation is surprisingly good in my opinion. Most Flash games I see don't have the most quality animation, but this seems pretty good. Flash games were an amazing part of my childhood, and I'm really sad to see them go. But you never know, the cancellation could be delayed again. But seriously, Flash games were the best part of school. Bursting my friends to see who could get the highest score, it was amazing. Maybe we should all take a minute to look back on our favourite Flash games and go play them because they're fun. Thanks for watching, by the way.